Well, hi there, everybody. Good Tuesday morning to you, meteorologist Travis Klineski here, and we again have a lot to talk about as we go through the day today a very anticipated day you've heard the stories you've heard about the storm chasers kind of lining up here in central nebraska getting ready for the day today still going to be fairly quiet this morning at least when it comes to the severe thunderstorms the intense activity that's going to come now it looks like later into the afternoon hour so we're going to take you through some time periods through the day today again this morning we have some thunderstorm activity across northern and central nebraska north of the tri cities this morning so far this has been non-severe activity now it's not out of the question that we could get some severe thunderstorms later on today or this morning into the early afternoon hours, especially for the northern half of the state, but it's not going to be that intense activity that we're expecting later on today. So let's play you through the morning hours and again. We're watching that activity continue to move east and northeastward up north. Warm front lifting up from Kansas into southern Nebraska and will line up somewhere across southern or central Nebraska later on today. I don't think it will get into northern Nebraska, although it's not out of the question, but that warm front will be very important to our forecast because if you live along that warm front, you have especially need to be very cautious about the weather later on today. And even north of it, you have a chance, a pretty good chance of some showers and thunderstorms, some severe weather. To the south of it, more isolated severe weather, but still a threat out there for the this afternoon. So again, we'll take you through the uh, early to mid-afternoon hours. Again, watching some thunderstorms starting to fire up in northern Nebraska, north of that frontal boundary. More cloud cover, cooler conditions, slightly drier to the north, but still going to be looking at a severe weather threat. To the south of that front, hot, humid conditions. Less of a chance of breaking into the thunderstorm activity until maybe mainly uh, as we get towards about 6 o'clock or later. But again, storm starting to fire up by about 4 or 5 o'clock and supercells, rotating supercells, tons of shear in the atmosphere, uh, quite a bit of instability as well with those dew points well into the mid and upper 60s for this afternoon. But again, watching that storm, especially something that's trying to fire up on future casts around the nor uh, Broken Bow area, I'm kind of watching that Broken Bow to St. Paul, Grand Island area towards York, Geneva, and then eventually Lincoln to Beatrice areas for the best chance of maybe a stronger, long-tracked tornado. It would be right along that warm front, kind of like what we saw on Mother's Day with the storm that fired up in Clay County and then went all the way towards the Lincoln and Omaha areas eventually. That storm went right along that warm front and that was the one that produced the tornado. That was just one thunderstorm, one supercell. We could see several supercells in fact kind of fire up along that frontal boundary. So as we get towards 7.30 again, anybody there uh, could be under the gun, uh, but the best chances of maybe the more widespread thunderstorm activity would be north of that frontal boundary. That continues towards 9 o'clock. We're starting to shift the better chances towards eastern Nebraska. The tornado threat going down just a little bit, we're looking at then more of a, maybe a wind, a wind damage threat by the uh, mid to late evening hours in eastern Nebraska as these become more of a Boeing segments, uh, pushing out very strong winds out ahead of these thunderstorms that could produce a lot of damage. Tri-Cities, we're starting to see things quiet down. By the time we get towards midnight, almost everybody should be out of uh, the threat of severe weather. And I think after midnight and then onward, we're starting to look at quieter conditions as the system kind of finally pushes out of here. And that will lead to a quieter day on Wednesday, maybe some early showers in eastern parts of Nebraska. So the Storm Prediction Center still has everybody under at least a slight risk. And then, of course, that moderate risk in the red shaded areas. Now, if I we don't have a high risk out there. This is a high, rent, a high end moderate risk, but it's not a high risk out there. If I had to pinpoint an area with the highest threat of tornadoes, I would say, again, Thedford to Broken Bow, Ord, Grand Island, Albion, York, Geneva, uh, Osceola up towards Columbus, Lincoln, Beatrice, Fremont. And, uh, and then after you get uh, east of there, it looks like more of a wind threat, though. Those are the areas, though. All those towns I mentioned uh, would be the highest threat for tornadoes. Still an isolated threat farther south towards Kearney, Hastings on southward. It's just those areas kind of in the middle of that moderate risk have the best chance of seeing maybe a, the stronger long-track tornadoes. Again, we're talking about a pretty high threat of tornadoes later today, especially in central Nebraska. Wind threat, especially as you get towards eastern Nebraska, I think is the highest wind threat. And then hail, up to the size of baseballs. We could see baseball size hail with some of these stronger thunderstorms. Heaviest rainfall totals will likely come in northern and eastern Nebraska associated with the more widespread thunderstorm activity. The farther south you go, it's going to be more on an isolated basis and heading towards more of the evening hours that we would see some of those develop in that hot and humid air mass that will be capped off much of the afternoon. So again, severe thunderstorms like in northern Nebraska, not a lot of sunshine up north. Temperatures a bit cooler, 70s and 80s up there. Could reach near 100 today in McCook, 
talking about severe thunderstorm chances there. Everybody has a chance of severe thunderstorms. Again, quite warm to even hot across the south, upper 80s to 90s down south. And we're looking at temperatures in the 80s to near 90 in the east with severe thunderstorms a little bit later on in this period, late this afternoon into the evening and overnight hours. Extended forecast, quieter conditions for your Wednesday, 79 degrees by late Wednesday night into Thursday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, a little bit of a break Thursday night into Friday morning, and then Friday, late in the day into Friday night, better chances of showers and thunderstorms continuing into Saturday as we cool things back a little bit. We'll have to watch for the threat of some severe weather once again. I don't think it'll be like what we're expecting today. That could linger into Saturday night, and then Sunday... I do expect a quiet day out there, a cooler day. High is around 70, low around 50 degrees. We haven't seen that for several weeks. Monday, I do uh, introduce a return chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the day as we get back into the mid and upper 70s. So again, that is kind of the scenario that will play out over the next 24 hours here in Nebraska and northern Kansas. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask myself. Uh, ask me on uh, Facebook or Twitter. I'll be happy to answer those at least until things get quite busy. And again, speaking of busy, once we get to that 4 o'clock hour, very tough to post updates on social media, warnings and things like that. So you have to, uh, you don't want to rely on social media to get your warnings uh, to you. You want to rely on other things. NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio, that's a great, great resource. We have our own Weather Call 5 service that you can subscribe to at khstv.com slash weather. That is an excellent service to get those warnings to you. You get phone calls straight to your house or to your cell phone uh, for your particular address. Of course, there are other ways to get warnings. There are apps out there as well. I wouldn't say uh, rely on sirens too much. If you're outdoors, they can be a good way to get warning notifications. But if you're inside, sometimes they can be hard to hear. Have a plan ready to go, especially if you don't have a basement. Maybe plan on staying somewhere that has a basement later on today and into this evening. Uh, also, uh, if, it just, if you have any outdoor activities, you know, plan on a way to get to shelter if the need should be there later on today as well. Of course, we will continue to post updates. If there happens to be maybe an upgrade to a high risk in some locations, we will let you know about that. And of course, myself, meteorologist Tim Jones, we will be on the air as storms start to wear up later this afternoon, really after that first tornado watch is issued. We will be cutting into programming uh, off and on or con constantly, continuously as those storms go until the threat goes away as we head towards this evening so there you go thanks for watching my video hopefully things turn out to be much quieter than expected but again prepare for the for the worst hope for the best that's all we can say so again until next time a quieter day on wednesday i'm meteorologist travis klineski stay safe out there today